How's it going, guys? Um, basically, a lot of you have been wanting a video of kind of just fills that I kind of play, and you guys kind of want to know how to play them and everything. Um, so again, this is just on the fly, but I'm going to do some of the fills that I do and kind of show you how you do them. Um, so like how I was doing the Drum 101 video, there's the very simple just... I mean, all it is is two kicks on the bass drum, then two hits on the snare, two hits on the toms, whatever variation you want, even like on ice bells or splashes to make it sound really cool, stuff like that. Like, like something like that. Um, if you do it really fast, then it kind of sounds like you're going really fast and everything. Then you can add stuff into it, like, like if you really develop your hands into really fast sixteenths, like if you can do really fast sixteenths and stuff with it, then you can do a lot of different stuff around the set especially. But as far as with this fill, I was just having two kicks on the bass drum and then using singles, you can do like... Well actually I was doing... I mean, all it is is... I mean, it's basically that, and speed it up, you got... Then if you want to add four on the kick between four in your hands, you can do... And that's as far as with that fill. Um, then also, um, also if you want to do like variations between the snare and everything, then you basically just do some hits on the bass, some hits on the snare, and you kind of try to do it so it's not just... You kind of want to do like variations on it, um, so that like, especially for like the beginning parts of songs, if you want to do that type of thing. Um, then, but also if you, if you use that and you develop your sweeping motions and you make sure that your 16s are really good, especially on your right hand, then you can do like, sorry, it's kind of weird on the electric set, but you do a sweeping motion like, and it also sounds pretty cool and you're getting three different tones out of your toms instead of just... Instead you get... So it has a little bit of interesting stuff. Um, also, um, you know, I used to do a lot of just death metal and everything, but then I started getting into funk and learning how to do really ghost notes and everything. Um, so I don't know if I'm going to be explaining all this in this video, but, um, like, if you want to do kind of... Um, Fills kind of like with funk, and basically you just let let your left hand kind of just write out any parts of the beat that you're not doing. So like if you just do, just do a simple kind of beat like that. Then you add ghost notes in. You can be like. notes it's kind of cool um as far as adding clarity into the beat and everything um which is kind of hard to show you on a, on, a, on an electric set but it's fine for now um also like doing ghost notes really also makes your fails kind of more interesting like if you go I just go around with the taunts and the snare. Um, also, for, for all you metal guys out there, um, I'm just going to do a, a few simple... Right now, I'm going to do a few simple death metal beats. 
or just metal beats period that are used a lot in metal. So basically the first one is a double time um, feel, um, kind of made famous by At The Gates, if you've ever heard of them, which is their original death metal, one of my favorite bands. Um, but that, that kind of beat is... And that really utilizes um, fast 16s on this end. Um, I use a technique that I kind of just... I, I, develop, I developed on my own, but then I found out that it's called the push-pull method, which is basically that. Basically. So you can do fast, like... Yeah, and then the other variation on... Instead of going to the high end, you can do the rise. Um, and then, uh, let's just say, okay, there's 16th on double bass. Especially also people are do is sometimes um, with drummers, if a band is going extremely fast and they can't do do sixteenths, like if it's at like two thirty and say you're doing heel up method, then it still sounds fast if you do triplets, um, which I guess not a lot of drummers um, learn how to do triplets on the double bass, but it's it cuts the speed down and it still sounds cool like you do. good for if your band's playing in 3-4, then you can do just that instead of 16 notes, which is obviously 4-4. Four, four. Um, 